Now, it's my understanding that you've been learning a lot about God and the gospel from the Bible. Whenever I study the Bible, I like to have a big picture question to help me learn. For the next few weeks, you'll learn about the stories of the cycle of judges. And together, we will answer this question. What is repentance? God led his people through the wilderness. And when they refused to enter the land, he made them wander around for 40 years until the next generation was ready. The people who had been afraid to go into the land had died. And God fought for his people as they followed Joshua. They conquered the nations who lived in the land God promised them. And when Joshua died, things started to turn bad. And the people disobeyed God. And that's where our story picks up. Joshua had died. Without a strong leader, the Israelites disobeyed God and worshiped false gods. They ignored and forgot about the one true God. God was angry. He let an enemy king take over the Israelites, and they served that king for eight years. Then, the Israelites remembered how good they had it when they loved God and obeyed God. They cried out to him, save us. God wanted the people to love and obey him. So God raised up Othniel to rule over them as the first judge. Othniel led the Israelites into battle against the king of Aram, and God helped the Israelites win. The land was peaceful for 40 years. Then Othniel died. Again, Israel ignored God and forgot him. God gave the king of Moab power to attack the Israelites and defeat them. The Israelites served the king of Moab for 18 years. The Israelites were sad. They remembered how good they had it when they loved and obeyed God. They cried out to him, save us. So God raised up Ehud to save them. The Israelites sent Ehud to the king of Moab, who was a very large man. Ehud had a double-edged sword under his clothes. Ehud said, I have a secret message for you. The king dismissed all his attendants, so he was alone with Ehud. And the king stood up. Ehud pulled out his sword. He pushed it into the king's belly. The sword was swallowed up by the king's fat. Ehud couldn't even pull it out. Ehud escaped down the porch, locking the doors of the room behind him. Ehud was gone when the king's servants came in. The door was locked, and they thought he was using the bathroom. They waited, but the king never opened the door. The servants got worried, so they unlocked the door and found their king dead on the floor. When Ehud escaped, he blew a ram's horn, and he became the Israelites' leader. God will help us defeat our enemies, the Moabites, Ehud told them. So the Israelites battled the Moabites and took control over them. There was peace in the land for 40 years. When Ehud died, the Israelites ignored and forgot God again. They turned away from him. When they remembered how good they had it when they loved and obeyed God, they cried out to him, save us. God sent a third judge, Shamgar, to save them. The judges saved the people from the consequences of their sin, but not the cause of it. God's plan was to one day send a true deliverer, Jesus, his own son, to be the king of his people. Jesus saves people from sin forever. Oh man, God's people had a way of making a mess of things. Like it wasn't long after Joshua died that the people did, began to do evil things. God allowed enemies to move in and conquer Israelites as punishment for their sins. But when they cried out for help, God sent judges to rescue them and to lead them back to him. Even though they did not deserve it, even when God showed his faithfulness, God's people repeatedly turned away from him. It's sad to realize, but we're not so different from those Israelites. We are born with sinful hearts that want to run from God 
And we cannot be saved by trying to obey or finding a great leader to follow, but we need something more. We need someone more. We need Jesus. And that gives us the answer to our question. What is repentance? Repentance is turning away from sin and turning to Jesus. We cannot be saved from sin unless we turn away from it and turn towards Jesus. So here's our Christ connection. The judges saved the people from the consequences of their sin, but not the cause of it. God's plan was to one day send a true deliverer, Jesus, his own son, to be the king of his people. Jesus saves people from sin forever. Jesus came to earth as a child and grew up without any sin and perfectly obeyed God in every way. Jesus did not deserve to die, but he laid down his life, choosing to be killed on that cross so that we could live with God. And on the third day after his death, Jesus rose again. This proved that his sacrifice was perfect and was enough to pay for any sin. When we believe in Jesus, God forgives our sin and declares us as righteous. That means that we don't have to earn salvation. God gives it to us through Jesus, and we worship a good and loving God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Jesus and the gift that he is to all mankind. We pray that you would teach us to be obedient and to follow your word as your Bible says. It's in your name that we pray. Amen.